On the Airbus A380, the outer ailerons, the huge ones near the wingtips, actually lock out at high speed. Above 210 knots, they are frozen in place. Why? Because at low speeds, during takeoff and landing, you need maximum roll authority. The outer ailerons provide huge leverage on that 80 meter wingspan, helping the giant respond when airflow is sluggish. But once you accelerate into climb and cruise, they're no longer your friend. At high speed, deflecting those massive surfaces would twist and stress the wing far more than needed. So Airbus designed the flight control computers to lock them out above 210 knots. From that point on, roll control is handled by the inner ailerons and the spoilers, which can pop up to assist with banking. This reduces wing stress, cuts unnecessary drag, and makes the aircraft smoother at cruise. Pilots do not have to manage it. The system automatically transitions, freezing and unfreezing the outer ailerons, depending on speed. It is a perfect example of Airbus design logic. Let the computers optimize performance while the pilots fly the big picture. The A380's outer ailerons only wake up for the critical moments, takeoff and landing, before going to sleep again at altitude. So what do you think? Is Airbus smart to let the computer freeze its wingtips, or should pilots always have full control authority?